Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the situation with Michael Condre and Glenn Schofield. If you haven't heard yet and you're a Call of Duty fan, I don't know really what you're playing at, but pretty much Michael Condre and what's this, Glenn Schofield, that's the old fucking fanny's name, uh, they are the founder and co-founder of something called Sledgehammer Games, obviously they're the ones producing Call of Duty World War 2, but they have decided to leave, so without further ado, let's jump into it. So, first things first ladies and gentlemen, we'll uh, discuss why they left and um, what like the circumstances to which they left Sledgehammer Games, so obviously we know they left Sledgehammer Games. I'm not sure about Glenn Schofield, but Michael Condre became Vice President of Activision. Oh, God. Now, this can mean two things, ladies and gentlemen. It can either mean great news for Call of Duty in Sledgehammer Games. They can actually make a decent Call of Duty without Michael Condre stepping in and saying everything needs to be perfectly balanced, which it shouldn't. But this also could mean terrible news for Call of Duty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you think about it, really, Michael Condre... Fucked up AW. In fact, AW, I quite enjoyed that. Uh, AW was actually alright. But he fucked that up because, he, I mean, it was alright for a few days. And then like, after it got to the end of it, it got a bit stupid. No one really liked it. But then he had Call of Duty World War 2. And all he had to do was pretty much mould together a boots on the ground cod. I mean, it was simple. Pretty much everything was handed to him on a plate. Like, all he had to do was grew it together. It was like pieces of a puzzle. All he had to do is put them in the right places. And he fucked it up. Majorly. Do you know what it's like? It's like following instructions step by step. And for some reason still getting it wrong. So that's what he did. So now that we've got that out of the way. And we know that he fucked up in a major way. He's become the vice president of Activision. Do you quite understand that? The vice president of Activision. Now, this fool has gone and fucked up Call of Duty World War 2, which was pretty much an impossible game to fuck up. Yet, for some reason, he manages to do it. I mean, it's incredible stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely incredible stuff. For some reason, he fucks it up, and I don't know how. I really don't know how. So, this could mean two things, like I said earlier on. One... It could be a great blessing for Sledgehammer Games. They can go about their thing and make a great Call of Duty. But it could also be the beginning of the end for the Call of Duty franchise, which is obviously a shame. Because when you have someone like that that can't make a game, when all you've got to do is put pieces of puzzle together, and he's reviewing all the Call of Duties being put on the production line, he could be like, no, I don't want to put that in there. Please remove it. I mean, you should have let David Wonderhart. Get that fool in. He's a much better fucking game maker and developer than fucking Michael Condre over here. But for some reason, he didn't get vice president of Activision and yet somehow Michael Condre did. I mean, did he have to do something to get this? Because, I mean, whatever he had to do, I'd do it. I'd bring the Call of Duty franchise back. But aside from this, like I said earlier, it can mean great news. But, for the moment, let's not judge old Michael. I mean, we know he fucked up AW. We know he fucked up COD World War 2. COD World War 2 in a big way, actually. But, let's not get bogged down with that for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try and think positive. Think, you know what? Old Michael could do a fantastic job and he could bring Call of Duty back. Which is just sounds stupid saying it. But, I mean, I'm going to say it anyway. It's a possibility. But let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. So, what does this mean for the future of Call of Duty World War 2? Now, I mean, unless Sledgehammer can fucking grab their fists so far up their ass and pull something spectacular out. Like, I'm talking, you're fisting someone's ass and you pull some gold out. That's the sort of level of amazingness that needs to happen for Sledgehammer Games to bring Call of Duty World War 2 back. At the making of this video, a new patch came out for Call of Duty World War 2, which, like, increased ADS time, reduced sprint speed or something like that, and then nerfed the snipers once again. Now, my old friend Baz, he is a sniper, and he was not happy about this, let me tell you. 
He was, in fact, so disappointed in Sledgehammer. He said he's not touching their game again, which is a fucking... Well, I mean, I know it's only one player, but imagine all the snipers out there in the sniping community. They're going to be pissed out there. I mean, the sniping community makes up a big portion of Call of Duty. And if you're new, doing all the nerfs and shit, I mean, they're going to go. But then you could also have some people that are going to adapt and overcome. I mean, that's a fucking great saying. I feel like fucking Bear Grylls when I say that. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Boom. Me and Bear Grylls, we're going to hit it up and go on a, go, go on a, this little celebrity thing. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the future for Call of Duty World War 2 is not looking fantastic at all. Possibly for the whole of Call of Duty, the future is not looking good. For the whole of it. So, I mean, we'll just have to wait and find out to see what happens. Hopefully, Michael Condre doesn't stick his fat fucking nose in Treyarch's business. Hopefully, he stays out of Infinity Wars. I mean, I'm hoping this year they can bring something back and pull something out of their asses too. But let me know what you guys down think. But, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But if you are new, hit that subscribe button. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and comment down with any feedback. We are 192 subscribers on our way to 200. So, I mean, let's get to the 200 before March at least. I mean, that would be great. But you guys are fantastic. This is Lukey and I'm out. Peace.